luck in life, good or yes. bad. But yes. at the end of the day, it's how much work. Remember those days where you got to reach out and, and touch and somebody? One of my favorite someone. interviews of last year. You're looking at it. It's hard to believe that's the last time we saw the lovely May Musk live in our studios. Well, she's back now, virtually, of course, to talk things health, aging, gender equality, and so much more like only she can. Super mom, super model, super author. Welcome back, May. So good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. All's well. Thank you. And happy International Women's Day. And to you. Thank you so much. Who else to go to but you when it comes to <laughs> well, celebrating everything there is about being a woman on the planet? You have clearly done it all. Last time you were here, we were talking about your book and you talked about a lot of your time here in Canada. So I got to ask, how has this pandemic been for you? There's been a lot of introspection this year. Yes, well, you know, um, I'm not one for introspection. I'm one for getting out there and doing things. And of course, all my flights were cancelled, all my speaking engagements, my modeling jobs, and all that was cancelled. So then you do other things, like I did exercise videos and then cooking food, which I'm not a good cook, but I show them how to <laughs> eat healthily, and then TikTok, you know? So, so then. <laughs> But then my book went international and suddenly I'm all I'm doing all these virtual interviews because I can't fly anywhere. Yeah. And uh, it's in over 70 countries now. Amazing. It's brilliant with so much insight and wisdom. A woman makes a plan and here we are. Nobody planned any of this. And how do we better ourselves? How do we get through? Let's talk about, you know, here you were raising three children. Let's talk about your daughter today, Tosca. She's the same age as I am, maybe a couple of months uh, younger than me. But here she is, you know, big cheese making films and, and uh, TV shows. And she's an incredible executive producer and director. What have you learned from your daughter? Because I know we always ask, what's the advice that you give? But what have you learned back from Tosca? Well, Tosca is brighter than me, smarter <laughs> and funnier. And I mean, I think I'm funny. She is hilarious <laughs> and she's really working very hard. And you know, the good thing that happened with her is that she'd done three months of filming just before the pandemic. Wow. So then she had three, she had then about six months of editing to do to get those, the three series out, Gabriel's Inferno mm. on Passion Flicks. And every and people were looking more at virtual movies. So that was perfect because Passion Flicks is a, a, a virtual uh, viewing of movies. Yeah. So then as soon as they allowed it, then she could she did shoot a movie here and one in New Orleans, another director, female director, of course. And you know, female directors and female actors get the same pay as male actors. Mm -hmm. There's for equality all the way. And then um, she, um, it's the COVID restrictions are at a lot of expense and a lot of time to movies, but she did shoot one in LA and, and I did a walk on roll, you know, and do my little cameos. <laughs> So then again, COVID test. And now she's in Italy because filming is considered essential services. And she's going to the Vatican and to the beautiful museums with her children because they are allowed to go there and it's completely empty. So it's magnificent, but it's also very sad. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, she's filming in Italy. I mean, she's taking advantage of every improvement since the, you know, as the pandemic comes to an end, I'm hoping, mm -hmm. and we will see then. Well, she's working so hard, so that's great. You're such an incredible role model, you know, not only obviously to your, your kids, your daughter, but to all of us for a million reasons. You've constantly reinvented and pivoted, and here you are, a supermodel. So talk to me about that. What do you want to say to everybody? I don't know about you. As a kid, I was always beating myself up. We were our own, you know, worst critics. I know a lot of people at home are feeling down. What advice do you give to women out there to raise their spirits up and feel good about themselves, physically and mentally? Well, well, I didn't feel bad about myself. I did feel bad about the situations I was in. That's why the book is about my terrible situations and the struggles. And then eventually I get out of them. And I'm hoping when other women are struggling, they get out of the situations quicker than me. Because you know you're in a, a sad, never-ending, miserable life ahead of you, and then you've got to run away from it. And that's what I've done many times. But I've also moved to improve my life. Like when I moved from Johannesburg to Toronto, it was to improve my life because my kids wanted to be there. Mm -hmm. And I went to the University of Toronto, and I was a research officer there and still at 41, then I was 41, I was modeling. I mean, it was crazy. They wanted an older model. But then what happens with 
Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, I suddenly became a supermodel at 67. Now you can't make that up. <laughs> and then, then of course a cover girl at, at um, 68. And that I didn't expect all that to happen because I wasn't in the couturier category. And now I am. So I keep on fighting for what you want. That's what the advice I give. And there will be many obstacles. You don't have to wait till you're 67. You, can, you just keep on striving for what you want to do. Work very hard because that's one thing I do is work very hard. You do and it shows. You are such a delight as always. I cannot wait for the day when you get to come back to studio so I get to fawn all over you in the flesh. Beautiful as ever. Maymust.com for more information. Pick up the book and make sure you follow her on Instagram. Love to you. Thank you so much. May happy International Women's Day. An inspiration every day. Thank you, May. Thank we'll you. We'll be back with more BT right after this.